Hello friends, I welcome you to a new day. Jesus is Lord and his Lordship is forever. Can we just go ahead and appreciate him? Is entirely a new day. Help me say thank you to him. He has brought you forth into a new day so that you can appreciate him. Exalt the name of Jesus. Glorify the name of Jesus. For there is no one like Yeshua. There is no one like the God of Israel. The Bible says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. Appreciate him. Life is a gift and every gift requires an appreciation. Father, we thank you for a new day. Thank you for sparing our lives to glorify you. We bow before your majesty and we declare that you reign. There is no one like unto you. We worship you that ride in the heavens by the name Jah. We glorify you whose jurisdiction is global. We want to say thank you, the sustainer of our destiny. Thank you for decorating us with your glory. Thank you for showing us mercy. We honor you, the governor of all nations. And we want to say we are grateful. Thank you, thou whose mercy is endured forever. We honor you, the wonder-working God. Mighty healer, we say thank you. For when you heal, you heal completely. Almighty God, we say thank you. Ocean divider, we say thank you. Obstacle crusher, we say thank you. Barrier breaker, we say thank you. Dependable God, we are grateful. Indescribable Jehovah, we honor you. Allow be your name. Glorious Redeemer. We have come to the church of the firstborn registered in heaven. I want to say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for being there for us. We owe you a debt of gratitude. And we want to say thank you, our Father. Sweet Holy Spirit, we welcome you into this new day. I want to let you know we love you. You look excellent in all your ways. And you do it beautiful and excellent things. Hello, we be God. Senseless thing. This is the day the Lord has made, and we'll rejoice and be glad in it. And we set up our banners in the name of Jehovah to exalt the name of Jesus. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has has made i will rejoice we will rejoice and be glad in it and be glad in it this is the day that the lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it oh this is the day, another day that the Lord has made. This is the day, yeah. this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it and be glad in it this is the day that the lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it oh this is the day another day that the lord has made this is spirit praise daily devotional and spirit praise daily devotional comes your way every morning to build up your spiritual capacity and network it comes as a daily dose to strengthen your spiritual cables and wires and to keep you aflame for god all day and our topic for today says let me tell you what God did for me. Zaniya kagada bagado siketiya kagada bagado shanda. Shakete belege delege dosh testimony time. Ella na gada de bregedo shabragado shanda.
<laughs> investment time. Zekete bege de bege dosh. Lege de lagadash. And we shall take our Bible reading from Psalm 66 verse 16. I read from the Message Bible and also the King James Version. I read from the Message Bible. All believers, come here and listen. Let me tell you what God did for me. And we read from the King James Version. Come and hear all ye that fear God, and I will declare what he had done for my soul. <laughs> now, just before we proceed, I would like us to take this announcement. I want to use this opportunity to appreciate all my viewers and all my subscribers. I also want to encourage you to subscribe and share and also leave your comments. By doing so, you will be increasing the revival momentum. So I encourage you, please subscribe, share, and leave your comments and God will bless you. I will also want to appreciate everyone who sent in his or her support last year to support this project. My God will surely bless you and do you good exceedingly in this great season. Zenia Kagadabagadosh Abragadosh I also want to encourage you to support the Spirit Praise Daily Devotional Team by sending in your support to the account details on the screen. By so doing, you will be enlarging the kingdom work. And also boosting your account in heaven. I encourage you to support the Spirit Praise Daily Devotional Team. Your support could go a long way to boost this work. Thank you for being obedient to this call. God bless you richly in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Now, shortly after the short exhortation, I will be running through the comments and testimonies from the month of December. I encourage you to listen and be blessed. I'm very sure you will like to hear your comments and also your testimonies. May the Lord bless you. I wish to start by saying that the desire of God for all his people is that we become ardent testifiers of his goodness. It is only an ingrate that can decide not to talk about the kindness and mercies of the Lord. The lepers at the gate of Samaria held a press conference, I guess. That is my understanding. Kai. And came to the conclusion and they said, it will be an error if we hold our peace on the day of of good news. Hence the Bible says in 2 Kings 7 verse 9 8 and I read, then they said one to another, we do not well. This day is a day of good tidings and we hold our peace. Can you imagine that? Permit me to say that your testimony serves as an encouragement to others. Hear me friend, your testimony serves as an inspiration to your listeners and like I usually say on this platform you may not be able to tell everyone but you must tell someone as a matter of fact testimony is an overcomer's tool in the hand of the believer to win in every battle of life you can quote me no wonder the Bible says in Revelation 12 verse 11 and I read and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they loved not their lives unto the death listen to me friends as we conclude there are daily battles we face as God's people and in this end time the battles of life are becoming more fierce and God's desire is that you overcome each of these battles daily and the overcoming weapon is your faith and that's why it says they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and 
by the word of their testimony. For the psalmist, he couldn't restrain himself from talking about God's goodness and mercies. Including the great deliverance God rotted in his life when he delivered him from the hand of Saul, his chief enemy. And in our text today, David issued an invitation to all believers to come and hear what God did for him. And hear what David said in Psalm 66 verse 16. And I read, all believers come here and listen so I can tell you what God has done. My prayer for everyone on the line, including Joy Obunaya, is that we would daily align our lives to talk about God's faithfulness and all that he has done for us, including the ones he's doing in the now. Without apologies to the devil, including the haters of good news, I pray for you that from today your testimony will blow the minds of your hearers. In the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I prayed. Amen. Let us pray. Hear me, someone on the line. Sin is the greatest waster on the surface of the earth. It is only a fool that can say that there is no God. Therefore, I plead on you to come to Jesus today so that he can forgive you your sins and give you a new life. Now, just by quickly saying after me, my Father in heaven, I come to you today. Please pardon me. Forgive me. I'm very sorry. Please write my name in the book of life and cancel my name from the book of death and give me the grace to live for you all the days of my life. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. And I decree and declare to everyone who has made this prayer that the Lord God Almighty will give you the grace even to stand firm to the very end. In Jesus Christ's mighty name I decree. Amen. Now, just before we make the closing prayer, I would like to publish some of the comments and testimonies from our December edition, and then we can continue from there. Thank you, our Father. We give you the glory, we give you the praise. And I want to appreciate you for connecting to this channel daily. May the Lord continue to increase you, and may you continue to work stronger in your faith in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, number one says, Thank you, Ma. Very timely message just for me. That came in from our sister Precious on the 3rd of December. Then number two says, The believer's mindset. I receive a renewed mindset to be a transformer and not a conformer. In Jesus' name, amen. Change my heart, O oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, O oh God. May I be like you in Jesus' name. Amen. That came from our dear sister Chibika Ekwemiro on the 7th of December. God bless you, my sister. And then we have number three. Most of times I find myself praying to God that he should stop something. But I forgot to pray for his own will to be done. In Jesus' name. That came from Philip's Olive on the 9th of December. And then number four says, Thank you, God. May you keep me in your word against anything that troubles my health and give me grace to make heaven mighty God. We shall end it with praise in Jesus' name. Amen. That came from our dear sister Florence. God bless you. And then we have number five. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thanks, great servant, for that great word. That came from Reverend Chikeze on the 7th of December. And then we have number six. Number six says we are covered by the words and promises of God. SPD deletes. That came from our dear brother D.O.C. Ezigwe on the 12th of December. And then we have number seven. Number seven says thank you, Lord. Amen. 
Yes, this season will be a season of good news in my tabernacle. And I will testify in Jesus' name. Amen. I shall testify of his goodness and mercies this season in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, God. My hallelujah belongs to you. That came from our dear sister Chibike Ekwemiro on the 14th of December. God bless you, woman of God. And then we have number eight. Number eight says, Thus far the Lord has helped me. Oh, I'm ever grateful, Lord. The snare is broken and I have escaped. That came from blessing on the 30th of December. And then number nine says, Our prayers will not be blocked but answered. The SPDD gives us the assurance. Hallelujah. Amen. That came from our dear brother D.O.C. Ezibe on the 29th of December. Zenia Kagada Bagadush. God bless you, sir. Legada de Bragadush. And then we have number 10. Glorious Amen and Hallelujah. SPDD taking us to next and better levels. That came from our dear brother D.O.C. Ezibe. Legada de Lagadush. God bless you, sir. And then we have number 11. Thank you, my beloved sister. I'm really blessed with today's devotional. My name is Nkechi Ezani. I'm connecting from Chicago, USA. More grace. More grace, my sister. I love you. Zikete <laughs> Pelegedush. And that was on the 30th of December, 2022. And then we have number 12. Number 12 says, Amen, ma. God will continue to increase his inspirational gifts upon your life and lift your banners higher and higher in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I receive. <laughs> My God. And then we have number 13. Thanks. I am now addicted to SPDD. Can you imagine that? I now start my day with it. I also go to YouTube to watch previous episode that I missed. Thanks for all you do, ma. 2023 will be good for all of us. And then number 14 says, thank you for today's SPDD. Indeed, this year, I saw God in another dimension. His help and mercy was so great beyond my understanding i say a big thank you to jesus for being there for us mommy may jehovah continue to give you insight and revelation of god's word thank you ma that came from my dear sister angela god bless you my dear and then number 15 says thank you ma for all you did for me this year thank you for your contribution to my growth Thank you for the messages. They came at the right time. Thank you, Ma. I'm grateful. I can't really thank you enough, Ma. Thank you, Ma. That came from our dear sister, Chidima. <laughs> Love you, girl. <laughs> and then we have number 16. Amen and amen. Mommy, may the good Lord continue to strengthen you on every side. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. That came from my dear sister Nkechi on the 15th of December. God bless you, my dear. And then we have number 17. Number 17 says the baptism of fire is most essential. The second baptism will surely activate all our spiritual frequencies and cables. The SPDD still helps us out of every backward tendency hallelujah that came from our dear brother barrister d.o.c Ezigwe on the 19th of december zenia kagada bagadush we appreciate you sir and then we have number 18 mommy thank you for today's spdd i'm richly blessed by the beautiful assurances in god's words to us this morning more grace and more insight of the word in jesus name amen that came from sister angela on the 15th of december and then we have number 19 oh lord you are my god i will seek you all the days of my life 
Help me, Lord, to look to you always. That came from our dear brother Sinclair Oba. And then finally, we have number 20. Number 20 says, Oh Lord, answer us. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thanks so much, great servant of the living God. That came from Reverend Chikizi on the 12th of December. Friends, that's the much we can take this morning. We'll continue some other time. <laughs> take a praying posture. Somebody pray. Oh Lord, thank you for what you are doing on this global prayer platform. I say somebody pray. Lord, we give you the glory, we give you the praise. We thank you, our Father. We say thank you for SPDD. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy towards us. I say somebody open your mouth and appreciate Jehovah. No spiritual wires should be weak this morning. I say open your mouth. Don't get tired praying. Receive fresh capacity in a new season. God, you are good in all ramifications. Thank you for the gift of this platform. Thank you for being a covering over us. We've seen your faithfulness. There is nothing to argue about it. You are perfect in all your ways. We declare to the world that you are good. Somebody pray. Declare the world must hear my testimony. I say pray. Proclaim. No devil will stop my testimony. All believers, come here and listen. That is the scriptures. Come and listen to what God has done for me. I say pray. Declare it. Come and listen to what God has done for me. I say declare it. In this day of good news, we do not well if we fail to talk about the faithfulness of Jehovah. Your mouth will continue to talk about his faithfulness. We thank you, the God of miracles, for all the miracles you've done for us. We are super grateful. We owe you a debt of gratitude. We will continue to talk about them till you return. We owe it all unto you. Be thou exalted, my father, and blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty, who liveth in Zion. Be thou exalted, and be celebrated our King in Zion. In Jesus Christ, matchless name we worship. Amen. And I decree and declare to everyone who has listened to this broadcast today that your testimony will guarantee you victory. I said it will guarantee you victory perpetually. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decreed. Amen.
Amen. Make that amen louder from the other side. Amen. Amen means so let it be. I will hear your testimony in this great season. Have a victorious day ahead in partnership with the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit. This is to let you know that the Spirit Prays Daily Devotional for the year 2023 is now in booklet form and available worldwide. You can order for your hard copies via the details on the screen. Text via WhatsApp plus 234 701 640 plus 234 803 276 4958. Via email gogonaya at gmail.com. J I O G B O N A Y A at gmail.com. Spirit Praise Daily Devotional Building Up Your Spiritual Capacity and Network. SPDD strengthening your spiritual cables and wires daily hurry now for your copy